Here's five Instagram Reels ideas that you can create to connect with your audience. Don't miss number five. That's the one that's really going to get you the connection. The first one is a green screen tutorial. And this is great because it allows you to explain anything that's going on in your industry, showing results. And we all know that showing social proof of the results that you can get for your clients is key to helping your customers see themselves in that position and it builds trust with you. Cover events, show documents, do a tutorial. You can add any kind of media, whether that be a picture or a video behind yourself and it just gives you a really easy way to show what you're talking about and makes it different, makes your video stand out. And the best way that I've found to do this is to head to your Instagram stories and actually record the video in there, even though you're not gonna post it. Go across the bottom of the screen, find the green screen filter if you haven't already got that saved, and you can actually record there in your stories, save it to your phone, and you've got the ideal reel to give valuable information to your ideal person. And for those who don't know how to record in stories, head to your stories, you can then hit the hands free button and then when you hit the record button you've got a minute then to record whatever video that you want if you don't like it just hit the back button it doesn't save it to your phone if you do like what you've just recorded hit those three buttons in the top right and then you can save it direct to your phone and use it as a reel of course you can use this for filming all your other reels as well because if you like to use a filter it's ideal you've got all those filters along the bottom the second type of reel that you can create quickly and easily that's going to connect with your audience is one using B-roll. B-roll is video that you take on your phone of other things round and about when you're doing your jobs during the day, all sorts of things, even going to the supermarket, unpacking your car, in your office, walking the dogs, whatever. And you can use that to either do a motivational and inspirational video, for instance, or you can do a voice over the top, anything at all that's going to help your ideal person to solve their problems. So A roll is me talking to the camera like this, B roll is of any other supplementary footage that would explain what you're talking about. And get into that mindset of when you're out and about, grab your camera on your phone and just take some footage if you're on a walk or like I say, going about your daily jobs, you've got it there on your phone and it's easy to just grab quickly and make a real with it but as I say it's got to be something that helps your ideal person and the way that you can do a voiceover over your b-roll very quickly is to go into your editing app something like InShot put the clip into the timeline and head over to the music section or wherever that is on your app and there you can see the voiceover you tap the voiceover button away you speak it goes over the top of your clip and you've got a valuable reel the third type of reel that you can use to stand out in the newsfeed and connect with your audience is to use something like video leap where you can grab a template and just basically add your own media in there swipe through the template see which one you like which music vibes with you add your own clips and you can create a really eye-catching video again it's got to be of interest to that ideal person but use it in a way that tells a story that helps them in some way that shows them what's possible and it's one to have stored in your back pocket at times when you haven't got a lot of time to spare you can just go into video leap grab one of those templates add your media and away you go and those templates are also ideal for showcasing your products if you produce or sell products don't just show us the product though show us the product show us how it benefits us how it helps us how it's going to improve our life the fourth kind of reel is great especially if you're wanting to tell a story and that is to head over to Canva and use their stock footage of video. When we're creating a video we want to be evoking some kind of emotion. Emotions are going to get reactions from your audience whether that's a like, a share, a comment, whatever. We want them to feel something. If your video is a story about how you were feeling, maybe you've been stressed, maybe you've been feeling imposter syndrome, maybe you're happy, whatever that emotion is, in Canva, you can actually search for whatever you want to find in that stock footage. That could be something like a child that's happy or a woman that's stressed. Type that in and you'll get all sorts of ideas come up. Create a canvas that's 9 by 16 drag your footage onto that, and then you can download it and add it into your editing app. You can use that footage along with you with a talking head video like I have done in this video that breaks it up and explains things as I'm talking. Or again, you can add the different clips into the timeline and do a voiceover, as we said earlier. 
And number five is the one that's going to get the most connection with your audience. And that is a talking head of you that infuses your values, your beliefs, your opinions. And if you're saying, Elaine, there is no way I can get on camera and I can talk to my people, not at all. I, I just don't feel like I can. Then I've got a free gift for you. The link's below. It's a 40 page confidence on video journal and it will really help you to move past those confidence blocks because there is no better way than connecting with your audience when they see your face hear your voice your mannerisms everything about you it creates that trust and without the trust you're not going to get conversions to sales so grab that free journal below do the work and it will really help you it's what i needed when i struggled to get on camera i know exactly how you feel that's going to get the right people to you, repel the wrong ones. You could be giving a tip, you could be doing a tutorial, you could be a thought reversal, showing them a different way with something. But something that is infusing your personality, whether that's showing your humour, the way you do things, something that's going to call in your tribe. We have to be authentically us on camera because... If we're not, our viewer can A, smell it a mile off, and B, like I say, we're not going to get those right people. We can't be everything to everybody, and we do not want to be a watered-down version of ourselves. So whatever we do, sprinkle our own magic in there. Do not be afraid of being yourself. Authentically you is the key, while still delivering great value to your ideal person, helping them along their journey. So don't forget, go grab that free journal. It's going to really help you with your confidence on video. And also watch these two videos here next. There's a B-roll editing tutorial as well as five tips to overcome imposter syndrome. I'll see you in the next video.